Hi YouTube, so today I'm doing my October Outcrate unboxing. Before I get started, I just want to say please excuse the mess in the background. I'm getting ready for um, a move. We are moving next month to Massachusetts and we just found out last week. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big move and um, I'm going to have to pretty much take care of this all by myself because uh, my husband, you know, he's working full time obviously. So, you know, for the most part, I'm going to be packing by myself and it's just a mess in my house right now. So I apologize for that. Please don't judge me too harshly and let's get on to the unboxing. So um, the theme for the month of October's Outcrate is called Lost in the Bookstore. And I'll show you first the um, little card that came with it. On top, we have, let's see, it is a girl or a woman in a bookstore with a little lamp and it looks like an enchanted little uh tea set pouring her some tea or coffee or, yeah probably tea and she's reading and she's really into what she's reading and she has a little wand behind her ear so it seems like to me kind of like a wizarding or harry potter reference so i love that she's got spoilers on the back Ooh, i really like this this is cute i'll put that on display the next thing in here is also a paper item um, it is the Mirror of Erised from Harry Potter, and it shows your wishes are being at Hogwarts, I guess, probably, because it's got Hedwig and spell books and a wand, little fairy lights and a mug. Yeah, that sounds about right for me. Let's put that one on display as well. Um, ooh, okay, so these socks. The one spoiler that we got um, was that we were getting socks made from, what is the name? um out of print out of print socks yes and i was i was thinking when i looked at their other socks like i know this doesn't sound very nice to say but i did not like the other design so i did not expect to think these were very cute but i love these um mint mint and like black or minting charcoal is one of my favorite um color schemes together let me see how big they are i have big feet for a woman or maybe not necessarily for a woman, but um, I am only five foot tall and my shoe size is size nine. So I look like a clown. So I'm like kind of curious to be see what size these are. So I'll see. I'll read them. Mm, it says small. We'll see. Um, I'm going to try to put it on my feet right now. Oh, okay. No, they look like they look like they're about they should be the right size. Um, and they say book on the bottom, on both of them. They both say book, which seems kind of odd or redundant, but, right? Because it's got like a book print, so. Oh, they're comfy, they're soft, and they're really cute. I like that. Those are cute. Book. All right, I'll put my other one on. And then, um... So, okay, so for this month, the Lost in the Bookstore theme, um, they said that they didn't really have anything, like, much of anything that was, like, fandom um, themed. Just, like, that little Harry Potter thing. Because they said, I know they said Harry Potter, but they said it was going to be, like, really small. So I'm guessing that's what it was, was, was just that, like, you know, that, like, card. But, um, so, and then everything else they said is just basically, like, a bunch of stuff to help you get cozy for the cold weather coming. And so that sounds awesome to me. And right... On top, next I see, which definitely goes along with that in the socks, it is T. Uh, I'm not seeing a brand name. Oh, okay, I guess that's what it is. The T, the T spot. Cute packaging. And the flavor is Choco Mint Truffle. Is that a T? Yeah, I guess it is a T. Um, Chocolate mint truffle, that sounds delicious. That sounds right up my alley. And if it were hot cocoa or coffee, I would be ecstatic right now, but I'm a little, a little skeptical that that would make a good tea. Let me see if I can smell it. I'm not much of a tea fan as it is. If I do have tea, I usually go with like, a, like orange or cherry or blueberry. And that's about it. I'm pretty picky about teas. I'm trying to open this, I'm sorry. I want to see what it smells like so I can let you know like does it have like a really fake smell or a really good smell I'm really interested to see what this will taste like inside okay so it's 
oh oh my goodness that smells amazing oh okay loose leaf and it smells like chocolate mint candies like andy's candies and the slightest little like after hint of maybe like black tea wow i wonder what that's gonna be like that does smell really good and if you're gonna have a loose leaf tea then you need a tea strainer and they definitely included that it's a little purple looks like silicon um little strainer it's a heart it's got like a arrow going through it like cupid's arrow and um i do have a tea strainer and i didn't think it worked very great so we'll see how this works um yeah the fact that it's like silicone silicone is nice too like my other tea strainer that i have has like all these charms hanging off and it's very cute but in practice it is a pain in the butt so this will be nice okay so we got two books this month which I don't even know how they managed to do that, but two books this month. And this one I, I already knew was going to be in it because the, the spoiler that they said for like the, for one of the books they said was going to be a modern twist on Pride and Prejudice set in Brooklyn. So I like typed that in online. This, this came up immediately and it's called Pride. The author, oof. I sure I probably looked up how to pronounce this, but I don't know if I would have been able to find it online. I am so sorry if I mispronounce this, but it is Ibi or Ibi Zaboy. I'm so sorry. You know what? I feel absolutely horrible trying to say this. If I butcher it, I feel absolutely horrible. Um, but anyway, when I was reading it or reading what it was about, it does not sound like the sort of thing that I would like. It is, um, I don't really like contemporary books. Um, I like things either set further in the past or in different dimensions or different like 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 fantasy. I love fantasy. I love adventure. Um, I love or things set in the future maybe. But this doesn't sound like it. Okay, so basically, it's um, it's it's contemporary. It takes place in Brooklyn and it's like a love story, I guess. I know this sounds absolutely insane, but I've never read Pride and Prejudice. I know, like, I know, I'm an uncultured swine. So I'm not exactly sure what that's about, but I'm going to read these things to you. Okay, so first of all, it comes with a very pretty bookmark. Gorgeous artwork. Gorgeous people there on the back staring at each other. You run this block, this hood, and my heart. Okay, so that must be a line from the book. And um, here's a letter. Dear reader, welcome to Bushwick. I loved writing this sweet story set in the neighborhood I grew up in. It's filled with love, laughter, hopes, and dreams. In the heart of it all is Zuri Benite Benitez. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. A girl caught between the community she loves and the boy who challenges her ideas about him, herself, and the world. This Pride and Prejudice remix has a beat of its own, but the rhythm is familiar. So step into these pages as if they're a big block party and enjoy from Brooklyn with love. And then that's from the author. So that's very nice. And this book is very pretty. It's a different, um, I, I love the design. Except I don't like this pink. I don't think it looks good with it. Apparently the original was, um, has blue writing. I think that would have probably looked better, but that's okay. Anyway, um, on the inside, it's very, I lo love this design on the inside. That is gorgeous. So yeah, and then um, let me see what they have on the back. Same thing. And a little thing, you know, about the author. There she is. Apparently it says she grew up in Brooklyn. That's pretty cool. Oh, she was born in Haiti. That's nice. Neat, interesting. Um, and it's supposed to be signed by her. So I'm looking for her autograph. There it is. She personally signed each copy of these books. Now, like I said, I am not interested in this book. It's not my type of book. And so I'm going to go ahead and give it away. If you're interested in it, just let me know. Um, like I said, just throw me a five and I'll ship it to you. Um, I will include, like I said, it's signed. And other than me touching it just now, it's like untouched, unread. Um, I'll include the letter from the author and the bookmark, of course. And... 
there's anything else in here that I can add to there, I will let you know. Let's see what else is in the box, though. Okay, got the pin. We get a pin each month. This one has the girl or woman from the um, spoiler card. I'm going to give that to my daughter because she's starting a little pin collection. I only keep the ones that, like, really speak to me, which has only been one so far. Okay, here's the other book. And this one I'm really excited for because I read that it is a fantasy book based off of Japanese ancient lore. And that definitely sounds like something I would be interested in. And so it's called Shadow of the Fox. Okay. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Those colors are beautiful. I love that. And then inside is just like blank white. At least on this side. Um, let me see what's behind this like jacket. Uh, it's just kind of like black and red. But I love this jacket. It is gorgeous. Okay. I'm looking for the autograph now. There it is. Julie Kagawa. Kagawa. Wow, I am just awful at saying these names that I don't, that I'm not familiar with. I'm, I apologize if I offend anyone. All right, that's the last thing I would ever want to do. Comes with a very pretty bookmark. Matches. Absolute power can corrupt even the purest of hearts. Ain't that the truth? And then this uh, letter from the author on this very pretty card says, Dear Reader. Oh, it's hard for me to read black against red. Dear reader, welcome to the land of Iwagato. Prepare to be swept away in a tale of adventure heavily flavored by my favorite myths from Japan. Samurai, shinobi, kitsune, oni, and more all lurk within these pages. Honor and destiny entwine, and the music of their motion is fire and magic and steel. The time of the prophecy has come. The dragon will rise. If the scrolls that summon the great kami fall into the wrong hands, the world as we know it will end. Can a young kitsune stand against the forces of evil? Perhaps, but she cannot do it alone. Fox, demon hunters, Ronin, Samurai, Miko, all must work together if they are to save Iwagoto. Ganbare Kodasai. Julie Kagawa, I am so, so sorry. I need to learn how to say these, these, these words if I'm going to be reading this. Okay, this one I'm definitely excited to read. My husband watches a lot of anime. I usually can't stand anime, just like the dubbing is so bad, but um, their storylines are always amazing, just incredible. So, you know, this is about Japanese mythology. So I think that, you know, I, if, if I like anime, then I will like this. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, so a, this thing, it's it's like a pouch like a like a like a book pouch i guess it says books are a uniquely portable magic oh i like that i like that um that phrase i've heard that before it says owl crate on the inside doesn't have any pockets or anything let's see if it's big enough to put this book in pride i'm gonna see if i can put this in here and I will give it to the, whoever um, is interested in the pride book. Okay, so yeah, if you haven't received, yes, that does fit in there perfectly. Okay, so whoever would like this, like I said, just throw me a five and I will send it your way. It, you will get this, um, this book protector for like if you're carrying it in a backpack or whatever else or I don't know maybe you can put your tablet in here this would be good for carrying a tablet or something um and you know the book pride is in there um it's autographed by the author it comes with the letter from the author and the bookmark that goes along with it and let's see what else is in here if there's anything I don't want or can't use we'll definitely throw that in there as well Okay, so we've got the um, that little Alcrate newsletter thing that you always get every month. Interview with the author. 
Um, reminder to like, you know, follow on Instagram, tweet and all that. It shows, here's the original cover and then the, oh wait, no, here's the original cover and then here's the Alcrate exclusive one. Shows you the difference in, in what it looks like. Um, okay, here we have a word search. They always do a word search, I think. If you like Pry, they give you some suggestions for other books to read. Interview with the author of the, um, the other book. What was the other book called? Something of the Fox. Okay, Julie Kagawa. Another word search. Oh, okay, so the regular one has more black on it. The one that we got has more red on it. I actually like the original better. Huh. Okay, if you like this book, it also gives you some rec recommendations for other books to check out. And, um... Bookworm Boutique interview with a vendor. Oh, she's the one who created the uh, the pouch thing. Um, and then it tells you um, there's like different things you can do on Instagram, different like photo challenges. You can win different things, you win a box, win different prizes. Um, a reminder to tune in. They do have like an owl babble where you can. There's like a live feed from the author. You can ask questions and that sort of thing. I'll create shop. Book is, bookish delights available. Oh, okay. Yes. It reminds you that you can buy past boxes or past items or whatever from if you go to the I'll create, create website. Um, okay. So the November theme is called Rise from the Ashes and every member, every November box will include an exclusive wax seal kit from Team Alcrate. It is not pictured here, but it is beautiful. Yes, if you're already a subscriber, your account will automatically renew. I still haven't decided, that is cute. I still have not decided if I'm going to get the November box because like I said, I'm getting ready to do a big move. I really am trying to save money. Um, and so I don't think it would really be wise for me to be paying $35 for November. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not much, I guess, but you know, things are gonna be really tight that it might get down to like, you know, for the first month we're there, it might come down to $35 at the end of the month. Sometimes, I mean, I've been there at times in my life where it's like, everything's okay, but sometimes it really does come down to, we need $20 for the next couple of days to get just a couple of items of groceries. I'm sorry, that was like way sidetracked, but yeah, just, just. You know, I, I think I think I'm gonna skip next month. Anyway, oh, I like the spoiler card though. I'm gonna be a grown up. <laughs> okay, the theme for the November box, like I said, is Rise from the Ashes, and it is very. I love this this look, and it's got a phoenix. Fun fact: my son's middle name is actually Phoenix. I've always been always been intrigued by them, and I love the the sound of it. And it shows the wax seal kit on the back again. Well, that's everything from this box, I think. Yes. Um, I liked last month's box better, but this was still a pretty good box. Um, so yeah, you know, I especially love the socks. And um, the tea, I don't know yet if I'm going to like it. We'll see. Um, this Japanese book sounds good. And what else did I get? Yeah, like the other stuff I'm going to um, give away. But, uh, yeah, not bad. Okay, well, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.